We begin with a story you'll only see on two. Good evening. I'm Erica Sargent. Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. He heard something outside his window, then did what many would do. He peeked out to see where all the noise was coming from. It almost cost that man his life. Thieves blasted his home with more than a dozen shots. Tonight, the victim walked our Dramont Terry through the aftermath. You see this bullet hole is just one of 17 fired into a house when a man was awakened in the middle of the night. He looked out of this window and saw someone trying to steal a catalytic converter and a car parked right here. What he was met with next left his entire family living now in fear. It's right here, right here, right here. It's another one. A home riddled with bullets in Westlawn. Windows shattered after someone woke Adrian Munez from his sleep. He heard a noise about a, like a so-so noise, like cutting something, and he looked at the window and saw some guys right there. Adrian figured he would try scaring the thieves. He yelled, hey, what are you doing? And then as soon as he's done saying that, they started shooting at him. The yells captured on the neighbor's security camera, along with those gunshots. Take a listen. Hey, what are you doing? Adrian had a second to react. He quickly jumped on the bed out of the line of fire, but those bullets went quickly into this wall, landing right into the living room. Another video doesn't have audio, but it shows three guys with flashlights and guns at 69th place in Lawndale. You can see them lurking around a car, and when the lights shine on Adrian's house, those shots go off. I don't think they, they were trying to scare him. Neighbor George Flores tells me the way these guys stood on the block with those guns leads him to believe they had intent to harm anyone they confronted. But 17 shots at a house says what in your opinion? They were trying to kill him. Thankfully, those shots did not hit Adrian or others sleeping. He lives with his sister, his two nephews, and his brother. Adrian believes the rosary over his bed protected him, yet the bullet holes in the living room walls, not to mention the windows, are proof these thieves meant business. But neighbors can't understand the need to shoot for a catalytic converter. Just leave the things alone and get, go away. Why you got to shoot at people? Now, neighbors tell me in the past two months, they have awakened to have six vehicles with their catalytic converters stolen. Now, this is an area where people essentially park on the street overnight, making it an easy area for a target for catalytic, catalytic converter thefts. But they said they never imagined it would get this bad. As for CPD, they do not have anyone in custody tonight. We are live at the 8th District Police Station. I'm Dermont Terry, Joe and Erica. Back to you. Yeah, that video is just terrifying. Jermont, thank you.